Greetings. I haven't uploaded in a while. It's been a few months. So, I finally found an excuse to um, make a video. So, I have this thing. Let's see if the camera will focus on it. It's a uh, Raspberry Pi Pico. So, like in 2021, I had purchased it at uh, like a micro center that was like hours away. And I wanted to do the bad USB thing with it. And there was a network truck video out. And I tried to do it and I had little success. So I ended up getting like a small breadboard and hooking up wires to it and playing music through it. But there was a uh, GitHub project that made it easy. You just drop the UF2 into it. And I was gonna create this video and I thought I found it. And then I ended up having like a whole struggle because it was a whole updated version. So I'm gonna show you how to do the uh, bad USB with it and show you what I've learned from the GitHub repository. I think it's fascinating because it can go undetected or it won't show up as a file storage device. But the things you'll need is like a um, jumper cable and a uh, Raspberry Pi Pico. These things are like cheap. They're like maybe $10 or so. What you're gonna wanna do is have the wires What's it called? Taped together so you can jump the cables on the pins. Photo focus. The pins are used to be like um, settings instead of like buttons. So I'll show you how to do it. First thing you want to go do is go to the GitHub repository. I'll put it in the description. It's um, pretty cool. There's a whole bunch of information on there, but you'll need to go to the releases and then download the zip that has US on it. And that's like the keyboard language. So once you download it, you're gonna go to the file location and extract the zip. So in the zip, there are like a bunch of files. Don't get overwhelmed. You're gonna take the UF2 file that ends in Pico. There's different ones correspond with different versions of the Pico. So you're gonna take the one that ends in Pico and you're gonna drag it and put it in the, your um, Pico W. I forgot to mention, if your Raspberry Pico is not fully or properly factory reset, or it's like, yeah, not properly factory reset, you're gonna have issues with copying the files because it's gonna run out of storage. So you need to wipe it and use like a tool like Pico Utils or on the forums, they have like a UF2 bomb or something like that. So you're gonna copy the file and it's gonna disconnect and then come back up a circuit Pi. Then you're gonna copy the lib folder and then some of the um, Python files into it. And pretty much your um, Pico is ready, but you gotta disconnect it Then you gotta jump the cables. So you gotta jump it from ground and then GP0 and that's setup mode and then ground and GP15 is attack mode. So we're gonna put it in setup mode and then you're gonna What's it called? Plug it back in and it's gonna pop up as a regular storage device. So now you can put your payload in, it'll be a payload DD. So there's on a Hack5 forum, there's for the actual USB rubber duck, it uses the same type of scripts. You just put like press such and such button, enter and then string such and such and there's a whole bunch of stuff. So you're gonna create a payload, I already created a payload. So then you're gonna take ground and leave it there. And then you're gonna take the other one to GP0 and move it to GP15. But that's after you unplug it. And then you're gonna plug it in and then it's gonna just run. It won't show up as a file storage device. It'll just run as soon as it's loaded. That's pretty much it. And once you, you can set it to run automatically when you boot up a PC, or you can set it to have a delay so it has like a, a little bit of time before it takes attack. There's a whole bunch of stuff you can do it. It's just, it, you're limited to what the RAM on this is and you're limited to like the capabilities of it, but it's still like, there's a whole lot of stuff. And in the form, you could set multiple play payloads on this thing and the pins correspond to each payload. So I'll show you what my payload does. Now, you have UAU file. Yeah, it's kind of weird.